What's going on, everybody? It's your boy. It's your boy back again with another one. Yeah, guys, I'm about to start working out like crazy, doing push-ups, doing arm curls, doing sit-ups, because I'm looking at some of these shirt videos, and I'm not looking so flattering in these shirts. It's, I think it's the cut of the shirt, but no, because in person, it doesn't really look like that. The cut of these shirts are great, actually, to be honest with you guys. I mean, the uh, next level shirts fit me a little bit better because they're more, you know, you guys see from one video to the next when I'm wearing a next level shirt and it's fitted versus when I'm wearing a hang shirt. But the hang shirt, they, they look good. I mean, don't get me wrong, but in the video, it's just not very flattering. And, and it doesn't seem, anyway, guys, I could be a little self-conscious. Anyway, guys. 100 shirts in 100 days, 100 shirts in 100 days, which shirt number, what's this, shirt number 23? We're on shirt number 23 today, so let's get into today's video right after we roll the intro. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Boom, 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 just like that. Hey, 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 productions, just like that. Like, comment, subscribe, just like that. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Hey, Dub, you ready? Wait a minute. We're putting today's design on a black shirt and the black shirt right now is drying and I'm hovering right now. The press is hovering right now, guys. It's not actually on there. It's hover drying the pre-treat onto the shirt so that we can avoid that box. But I'm probably gonna end up getting a box because I'm about to press it in a second because it's taking too long. I kind of want to get done the video and you know upload it for you guys so you guys can see what we got going on for you today. So we have an intricate little setup today because you see I have the camera set up to look inside the RI1000 to get you guys a little intricate bird's eye view of what's going on. Let me drag this file to the top so we can go ahead and start doing this thing so the RI1000 can start printing it and you guys can see the action it is un as it unfolds on our bird's eye view looking down with camera number two. <laughs> guys, I'll be trying to get y'all some shots, man. Give me, a, can I get a thumbs up in the comment section just for the shots that I'm trying to get you guys? Can I get a, a thumbs up in the comment? I don't think that's a thing. Can I get a comment in the comment section and a thumbs up in the thumbs up section for the shots that I'll be trying to get you guys? Please. I did go ahead and I, um, pardon me if I'm off camera. I did go ahead and press the shirt. So we might have a little bit of a pre-treat box on this one because I want to make sure all the fibers were laid down. But even still, I think I might have got this pre-treat thing with, with the no, no box situation down, guys. I'm going to make a whole full video about it and what I think using the different methods and stuff like that. But we'll see. Still got to do some more tests. And I'm trying out some different pre-treat solution. So the results might vary. For right now, I'm trying out this stuff called FBX right that you guys meant um recommended to me and i'm also comparing it i'm also comparing it to uh image armor to see which one i like the best and so far it seems to me like image armor is better let me know in the comments down below because i know some of you guys do the same thing shirt number 23 let me know is image armor better to you or do you guys like FBX? It seems to me like Image Armor might be a little more concentrated in my opinion, and you might have to lay down a little bit more FBX to get that Image Armor feel. Now I know Image, uh, the FBX stuff is probably less expensive, but guys, sometimes it's about that quality. I'm trying to make sure we're even on both sides. Seems like I'm pulled over to the left a little bit. Um, so I wanna get it over here a little bit. All right. That feels better to me. Feels a little bit better to me. I go off feel, you know what I mean? Feels like I had a little bit more on this side than on that. Now we even, now we feel even. Gotta go off your feel, man. Sometimes, you know, unless you got marks on here, gotta go off your feel. All right, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and start rolling on this camera right here. Let me make sure I got a good, good let me, give me a second. So I'm gonna just hit the set button to let that go inside right there. And our image is gonna start printing. Let me check this out. All right here, y'all see that shirt going in on the other screen right there. So the RI1000 is starting to lay down that first little white under base right here. And you should be able to see it right now as we are watching this video, guys. And um, I did a nice cleaning. So everything should be good uh, with this image as far as I'm concerned. We're about to find out. Um, I put down a double 
coat of XBF, FBX, just to make sure, just to see what happens, guys. So we're going to see how this image comes out. I'm playing around now with vibrancy because I think I got the whole process down packed as far as printing shirts and stuff like that. Now I'm trying to see about the um, about the uh, quality of the image, focusing more on quality of image, right amount of pre-treat. We're going to be messing around with the Viper Mini um, more and more. But, you know, it's all about getting the good quality print now, guys. And we're going to now we're going to focus and dial in on what do we like better? Do we like laying down more pre-treat, less pre-treat, um, the proper setting on a Viper Mini, whether we pull the thing in or pull it out? Uh, it's going to be doing a lot of, a lot of tests going on, a lot of tests going on, Dub Nation. I mean, right now, going freehand, all I'm saying is this ink look wet. This ink looks good and it looks wet on the RI. 1000, use my Rico, I feel it like... So now let me stop. I'm, I'm bugging right now. And I can really sing too, so that's why I don't really need to be doing stuff like that so you guys can, you know, really think that I can't sing. And then when I come out with something, y'all like, yeah, let me stop. All right, going back inside, going back inside, round number two, let's go. So while the RI-1000 is doing the last pass of this specific design, I can't wait to see what that footage looks like. Keep in mind, this design right here is available on alnaway.com. The one that I have on right now in on the black shirt. All right. Because when we did this design, remember, we said the black shirt looked better. So I put the black shirt on alanaway.com. This design, as you're watching, is available on alanaway.com. So you guys can go shop, shop, shop to you. Drop, 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 guys. It's not too late. We got, you know, all eyes on me, eyes on me for the new year. Coming into the new year, you can rock your shirt and get your shirt just in time for the new year. I think the post office, I think UPS should be delivering. But guys, um, special announcement, special announcement. Don't know if I said it at the beginning of the video or not, but I have my transfer film and I have my powder. And on a color gate, we already know how to reverse the colors. So now it's time to experiment with some DTF, but we're still doing 100 shirts in 100 days. Shirt number 23, as you guys can see. So, you know, I got to try to fit things in. Still got a bunch of vinyl stuff we need to do. I got some jobs I got to do to fill some orders. Man, the schedule is bananas, guys. So um, thank God for the schedule being bananas. I'm glad that you guys liked the message in the last video that I talked about um, as far as enjoying the things that are going good. Because listen to this. Listen to this right here. I just want to add to that real fast. It's not going to be too long. All right. So the message was stop. I forgot, I forgot exactly what I said. Stop, stop worrying about the things that are wrong and start enjoying the things that are good, right? So what's crazy about that and what, what you guys have to realize is when you pay attention to the good things, you really start to enjoy the good things and you really start to live, live out the good things and you bring forth good energy, right? But guess what? The same is opposite. When you pay attention to the bad things, bad ideas fill in your head. You put forth bad vibes and you live bad, right? So doesn't it make sense that on a day-to-day -day basis, when we're seeing all this negativity, it affects us, right? So the same is if it's opposite. So let's flip it back around. And when we flip it back around... You give money. That's all I'm going to say on that. Just flip it, flip it back around. Change it. Tell your friends to change it. And let's start moving in the right direction. Ooh, this is looking good, guys. <sighs> Wait till y'all see this one right here. I mean, I mean, guys, if this does not look like candy paint, then I don't know what does. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> AllenAWay.com right now. Tell me that don't look wet. Tell me that don't look wet right there, you're lying. Man, let me tell y'all something. We're going to have to take our time and take a good thumbnail on this one because this one is extra saucy. I don't want to mess and drop this on here. This one is extra nice right here. Oh, my gosh. I think this might be, this is probably my favorite print. Not my favorite shirt, but probably my favorite print. All right. And from now on, all the prints coming out like this. All right. 
because I've I'm, I'm just getting when you do this stuff and you print over and over and over and over again, you're just gonna get better and better and better. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below of this right here. Let me try to get a thumbnail. Might use this one. Anyway, guys, let's put this on so we can cure it. I just want to be careful with this because I don't want to mess it up. Let's put this. I'm just driving on the flow. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta drop it on the flow. You know what? Let me put this right here because I wanna I wanna show this to you guys before I go ahead and press it. Let me show it to you guys, but man, this is nice. This is very, very nice. I like that this slides out so much. Hand is nice ways away from the platen. Alright, let me just center it up so it can get all that. Oh man, that looks good. I mean do we look drippy on this one? Are we dripping on this one, guys? Are we dripping? I think we dripping on this one. We dripping? This looks drippy. Very, very, extremely a drippy. AlanAway.com right now. Let's go ahead and dry it so we can put it on. Don't do what I do because you'll end up with dust marks for my floor is clean, but we'll end up with dust marks all over your stuff, so I'm just, right? And I'll lay it on there like that. It's just wet ink, so I probably messed this thing up, but God, learn from me. Do as I say, not as I do. That's how it goes, right? Do as I say, not, yeah, yeah that's how it goes. All right, guys, let's, with the magic, we're about to put this on and, <sighs> look at this, guys, look at this. I'm trying to tell y'all, man, this shirt right here, this is one of my favorites, guys. This is one of my favorites, hands down. Let me know what you guys think about the print. It's available right now, alanaway.com, as you are watching this video. Um, I'm getting, I'm telling you guys, practice makes perfect no matter what you guys do, whether it be embroidery, whether it be uh, white toner, whether it be DTG like I'm doing right now, whether it be sublimation, whether it be heat transfer vinyl, practice, practice, practice makes perfect. I'm not saying that it's perfect, but uh, I'm sure we can all agree that it looks pretty darn good. Available now, alanaway.com. Let me know what you guys think about this one. Guys, I'm looking forward to showing you guys the DTF on the Rico R1000 DTG. Hope you guys appreciated the shot on this video, the shots that I gave you with the new overhead thing. Let me know if you guys want to see that more often in the videos. Let me know if you guys are tired of the videos, if I should stop. 100 shirts in 100 days. This is shirt number 23. We're moving right along by the end of the week, 25 and 30. We're, listen, I'm still going to put shirts on the website, but let me know if you guys don't need to necessarily see the video, then I can get into some other stuff. If I get 20 in the comments saying, stop, Alan, stop, we want to see something different. 20 in the comments, then I'll stop. Other than that, I'm going to keep on going until we get to 100, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me, Instagram, Adub Productions. Facebook, A-Dub Productions, TikTok, A-Dub Productions, and my second YouTube channel, Alan Wade. Follow me there, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Peace. Turn up that, crank it up. While I listen to the rest, we rockin' with the best, baby.